I would like you to elaborate a little bit more on smoking. There are a lot of smokers who would like to quit. You yourself have written a wonderful book called Killing Me Softly. Yes, I did. Yeah. It did uh, very well for itself. Yes. You were a smoker yourself. Yeah. You quit smoking. There are a lot of people who would like to quit smoking, but if you tell them to buy and read a book, they rather write another ciggy. <laughs> <laughs> the easy way, easier way out. So, in a nutshell, in a couple of words, how can someone quit smoking? So, you see, uh, when I wanted to give up smoking, I would binge smoke, saying that I'm going to stop smoking from tomorrow morning. By smoke binge smoke, what? I'm sorry to interrupt. By binge smoking, you would smoke how many cigarettes? Just so that no, no, so so, so on idea. on so if I if I were if I were to go for a party a late night party or a dance I could smoke something like a hundred cigarettes on that particular day. Otherwise, my average smoking would have been somewhere in the vicinity of sixty, fifty, sixty cigarettes a day. So it was it was pretty heavy actually, and and, and believe me, uh, Rohan, almost almost I won't be exaggerating. Almost every night when I went to sleep. I would say, I am not going to smoke from tomorrow. I would get up with my mouth burning and feeling sick, but within ten minutes or five minutes or two minutes of my waking up, I would have a cigarette in my mouth, and then I'd forgotten about all my my night resolutions. Sometimes I would go out for a party, smoke, 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 and promise myself. This tonight is going to be the last night I'm going to smoke. So what is there if I smoke another two or three or four tonight? Let me just get my body so sick of the cigarette that it's going to help me to do away with it. It never worked. It never worked because we are addicted to the nicotine in the cigarette. And 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 let me tell you this. Okay. So there are many theories to this, but this is this is my thinking. Okay. Uh, I used to smoke primarily because. It was something like I would feel restless. I wanted the cigarette, and then I asked, "Okay, let, let, let me start off, Rohan, with my story of how I gave up smoking." Okay, so I was going through all these things of getting up in the morning and stopping and trying to stop, never being able to stay without a cigarette for a day. I even used to used to say, "I'm going, not going to buy cigarette packets any longer." I used to send my chap to. We had these small shops called Gadas close to our house or to our office. Then the pune to the office to the gada, pick up one cigarette and come. That poor chap has spent his whole day going up and down and up and down because of the number of cigarettes that I asked him to bring. Till I finally would tell him bring one packet, and that part got over. Then I have this sister of mine in Canada, Fatima. I told her at that time this this the nicotine patches had come out and they were awfully expensive. But she was coming down to Goa from from Vancouver, and I told her to get me some nicotine patches. So she said, "See, you are never going to stop smoking, because I had tried earlier." Uh, but she said, "In deference to your request, I will bring you some. Use use them for about about two weeks. I think she brought me two weeks quota. And the minute you finish one week without smoking, I will immediately courier. Even though it's awfully expensive, I will courier to you the rest of the the whatever the kit of 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 nicotine patches." Now I was already in search for, of an answer, and I was already studying how the how, how the cigarette worked. Right? When I went to affix this patch, this nicotine patch, onto my shoulder, I read the instructions, and the instructions on the on the patch said, "When you are apply after you apply the patch to your shoulder, do not wash your hands with soap." Okay. After you apply the patch on your shoulder, do not wash your hands with soap because the soap Will spread the nicotine on your fingers, and that will hurt the skin on your fingers. To me, that was a shocker. I never used the patch, but that was really something that that hit me in the head. Because if if nicotine was doing this to my fingers, what was it doing to my inners? And then, of course, I decided that the only way to do it was brainwash myself. So whenever I used to feel, so so then I I, I understood actually. That that uh, nicotine doesn't de-stress you. When you smoke, what you are doing is you're just feeding on the on 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 the addiction that you have. So when when your nicotine in your blood drops, 
it creates a stress when you smoke and you give your blood the nicotine that it wants your stress disappears and you feel relieved but it's it's an artificial stress that you're creating because you're just not smoking and guess what the 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 the, the withdrawal symptoms that you feel when you don't smoke for a day should be ideally the same that you would feel when you take a long haul flight so when you're flying from say goa to to the us 16 hours 18 hours and you have no access to a cigarette you you live it you you just don't go around fretting and fuming because you don't have a cigarette and that's the only withdrawal symptom that 90 percent of us get yes there are 10 percent that it's different but but it's not difficult so basically for you it was a mental game for me and for everybody according to me at least for 90 percent of the people it is a mental game so you would say if someone is a smoker, let's say he smokes, why 50 cigarettes, 50 cigarettes, let's say 20 because cigarettes are expensive today. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to quit cigarettes. He has to use mind over matter. Would it, Absolutely. Can he do it overnight or does it take, let's say, cut it to 10 then cut it to five, then maybe two or, or, or yes. did you just go, can, can he just go cold turkey? If I, if I smoke, you are a doctor. If I were to smoke marijuana and want to give up, how would I give it up? Would you tell me to have one, one, one joint, uh, five joints today, two joints next week, and one joint the week after next? Right. Or would you I would have to. to I would tell you to just quit. But then I'm looking, looking from inside the mind of a smoker. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, so yeah. that's exactly the point, right? So, so when we are talking of, of smoking, nicotine is nothing more than just any other drug. Okay, it's the it's, it's same, only the good part is that the withdrawal symptoms from nicotine are nowhere close to marijuana. They're simple. So you just stop it cold turkey. End of the story. Okay. So never you heard it, guys. Will, never, use, never use willpower to stop smoking. Please remember that. Okay. So you just... So your willpower is not strong enough. So you just blindly stop. You stop. After you brainwash yourself, you confirm what you want. See, you, you, you need to understand what the cigarette is doing to you. And you need to understand why it is that you are longing for that cigarette. And when you understand why you're longing for it, because you think you like it, but, but once you know that you don't really like it, because that's why you want to give it up, right? So you don't really like it, but it's, it's holding you back because of this drug. And then you realize that the, the withdrawal symptom is not all that great, and you really don't have to get scared about it. I think then it's a matter of logical choice. Thank you very much, Mario. So we use logical choice. You heard it, guys. Yes, absolutely. You heard it. <laughs>